Okay guys, so this is part two of the tutorial of how to fix uh, MMS. This is the whole tutorial. Um, if you guys did not catch part one, I advise you guys go to part one because part one shows you guys how to get your MSL code or your master subsidiary block code is what it is. And you will need that to edit the APN settings. Otherwise, um, it's a no-go. So, <clears throat> basically, if you guys watch the first video and you guys follow that tutorial, this comes the second part. Um, this part is just fairly easy. I will put the APN settings in the description box uh, line by line so you guys will know how to do it. Um, fairly simple to do. So, um, like I said, you got your MSL code. All that went fine. Um, the next thing you want to do is hit your dialer pad, and you're going to type in pound, pound, three, two, eight, two, pound. And from here, there's an option edit. We're going to click that and you're going to enter in your MSL code. I'm not going to because I already uh, fixed my settings. So I'll go to View. Now, once you're in uh, your data programming and you're set to start editing, go to Others. And the first thing you're going to edit is the MMSC URL. And what you're going to enter for that one is you're going to change it to because uh, if you guys open it and if it says sprint at all, that's a no. That's a no go. Change it and type in h t t p colon backslash backslash m m s c dot v m o b l dot com colon eight zero eight eight backslash MMS question mark. Yes, the question mark is part of that um, URL. You're going to type that in. Once you're done, you're going to back out, and you're going to go to MMSC proxy. And for the proxy, you're going to edit it. So delete everything that's in that field, and then type in 205 .239 dot two three three dot one three six. So after you type those in, you're pretty much done there. Back out. Go to MMSC proxy port. And the proxy port number, you're going to change it to 81. And that is it. You don't really need to mess with anything else. Um, let me double check real quick. Just to make sure that I got everything. So Okay, so I'm in my settings. Let's go here. Um, okay, you don't need to mess with that. Yep, just those three. Okay, because everything else I didn't mess with. All right, um, so once you're done with that, I'm going to double check that for you guys. Um, you're pretty much done. Uh, do a test. First, I would um, suggest to um, go back into recovery and uh, flash back to that to that GB28 zip. That's how I did it. I mean, you could do it before you actually start changing the APN settings. I did it afterwards, you know, just to be on the safe side, but your choice. But um, if, if you guys had already uh, reflashed that GB28 uh, stock bin toolbox, don't worry about it. From this point, after you're done um, editing your APN settings, just reboot your phone, and when it turns back on, uh, have someone on standby to help test things out and send them a picture message and have them send you a picture message and make sure that the uh, picture message goes and that you receive. Um, I did notice that the, that the first URL 
um, I believe is the URL for a send out because I had actually made a mistake in the APN settings and I had typed an, the part where it has a number, I had typed in 8080 instead of 8088. And um, I was able to receive a picture message when changing the, the proxy. So when I changed it to the 23523, whatever, um, I received a picture message, but my, my picture message is sending out wouldn't go until I went back there and edited that. So yeah, that is pretty much how you guys can fix your APN settings so you get multimedia messaging. As you guys can tell, I am running um, Touch by Galaxy S4 version 2.2. I'll do a ROM review about that tomorrow. Um, it's the updated version from the, from the last video I did was version 1.5. So this is version 2.2. It's the final version for uh, Touch by Galaxy S4. And uh, pretty awesome. I'll get into that tomorrow. But as for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys uh, found my video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, then hey, get you know, uh, subscribe if you guys like to and you see more videos. Um, it's no big deal. But um, above all anything, I just want to know if this actually helped you guys out. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the description, the comment section of this video. If it's an urgent urgency, you guys can hit me up on Google Plus. In uh, Hangouts, I do um, I do actually respond back if you guys uh, send me a Hangouts message. And um, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. You guys have a great week, and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow for uh, Touch by Galaxy S4 version 2.2 ROM review. And again, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.